Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to continue the conversation on this foot birthday promo and why it is such a good value promo with the SBCs that we are getting. We continue to get player SBCs for the foot birthday team. We have another one coming today on Tuesday. We got Vidal yesterday, which is... A little, I'm a little bit surprised, I'll be honest, is making the market move because so many people want that card. Uh, and just, I want to talk about what is going on with this promo in terms of the SBCs because this, again, just as we talked about, seems to be an SBC-based promo. Um, not entirely, right? We have we have team impacts, but the, the team impacts is not that hype. It's all about the SBCs. They're releasing good value SBCs day after day after day and I think that could continue today on Tuesday as well we'll talk about the quote-unquote leaked player that could be our SBC today on Tuesday for a player SBC and I'm starting to wonder about the actual timing of this some of you guys mentioned in the comments down below that they haven't missed a day yet of these 12 player SBCs they're going to drop from foot 09 to FIFA 21 the combination I guess of all the years of FIFA um, that ultimate team has been around and they haven't taken a day off yet so that makes me think that honestly, if they're not taking any days off until this Friday, that this promo, the second week is only going to be until Wednesday. Because of course, 12 SBCs, they have said it's going to be a two team promo, but that second week might only be until Wednesday, unless they're going to, you know, finish off the second team in packs and not have any SBCs for two days. But that's kind of thinking ahead of the, ourselves. Um, of course, yesterday we had this Vidal SBC coming in at around 550k. I'm so surprised. I'm not so surprised because Vidal is an absolute legend, but I'm a little bit surprised at how many people are doing this SBC and how much hype it's actually getting. And that's why, you know, to be to be fair, I thought 500k, this is not a terrible price for this Vidal card, right? This is an insane card. Look what happens when you slap a shadow on him, 92 pace, 96 defense. You know, the card stats are insane. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. The issue is kind of the links. Now, there's plenty of players out there you can link with Vidal, but I feel like at this stage of the game, not a ton of people are looking to get these links, Inter Milan links. So people probably had to go out and restructure their squads. That's why you're seeing a lot of the Inter players like Perisic, like Lautaro Martinez. Some of those cards are up a lot. Some of the other Serie A players like Bastoni, he's up a lot too because people are linking those players with strong links to Vidal because this SBC is getting a lot of hype. Now, I thought that 500K might be a bit of a steep price for people to actually want to pay because, you know, the SBCs that we've had recently, you know, Podolski and Ozo, which are actually in my team, I'll show you this way. Uh, these guys have been around under 200,000 coins. Before today, every SBC has been around or under 200k with Palacio, Podolski, and Ozil. So that's when today when they released Vidal, I was interested to see how many people would actually do it. And it looks like a lot of people are. 5,000 upvotes on Footbin. And I think part of the reason why so many people are intrigued with this SBC is because it's such a, a craftable time in this game. You guys know everybody is doing these SBCs right here the 81 plus player pick. Uh, and you know, you, you get a couple high rated cards and boom, you're able to go out and buy some 83s, 84s and finish off this 84, 85 and 86 rated squad. Now it did require three team of the week. So I'm not entirely sure if like informs went up today. I'm going to actually take a check on that. Um, but again, this promo continues to be focused around SBCs. Actually, informs are down. The current team of the week, Liebold's 28,000 coins. Wow, that's pretty crazy, actually. Some of the uh, fodder informs are down from this. I think there's a lot of investing that went on there. But uh, it's just so interesting to me that people are willing to craft SBCs right now because they know these player picks are out and people just people will do SBCs just to do SBCs because this is out right now. So that takes a lot of the hype off of the actual cards on the market. And we saw that with some foot birthday prices dropping even lower on Monday. Now, some of them bounced back and rebounded a little bit and we'll talk about that. Um, but again, in my eyes, this promo continues to be good value. It really does because you, you look at these SBCs that we're getting, 140K for Ozil, right? You've got the um, Podolski SBC, which is 184. The Palacio is at 200,000 coins. So the Podolski, the Ozil links, right? That's a GG. They're giving us good stat boost, good weak foot and skill move upgrades. And they're making these SBCs, I think, 
good value. Now, Vidal is the one that's in question the most on the market. If this car was on the market, I think it would be somewhere between, you know, 450 and 600,000 coins. I know it's a bit of a range, but depending on where the market's at at any given time, that's how I think this Vidal would be on the actual market if he was in packs. So I think this 550K price range is not anywhere out of the normal of, of crazy high uh, or anything like that. And especially with the player picks, right? People are gonna be crafting the SBCs uh, that continue to come out. So that's why you saw Parasis go from 290,000 coins last night all the way to 411. You have guys like this Goosens that are up. You've got Kessie that is down. A lot of CDMs today. This is how you can also tell that a card like this is being done by a lot of people on FIFA, you got a lot of CDMs that are down today, not just in the Serie A. Obviously, Kessie went down a bunch. People who had Kessie in their team are probably selling that card to go out and do the Vidal SBC, which is out for 15 days, by the way. So a lot of people are going to try and go and craft that. Um, I saw other players. I think it was like a um, Prime Icon Moments Petite was down today. A lot of CDM icons took a little bit of a dip. Um, if you take across the game, you may not see them all here on the popular page, but there was a lot of CDMs and center mids, more defensive-minded cards that dropped a lot today. But then, of course, you see like this Lautaro is way up in price. This Goosens is up. Uh, and then that uh, Perisic is up a lot as well. So the links to that Vidal card today really, really rebounded. And I think we're going to continue to get good value SBCs during this promo. Now, we didn't get an Icon SBC, right? That's the one thing right now where I'm kind of interested to see where EA play their cards on this one. So Chicha is about to expire. I'm going to have to get that one done by doing some player picks, I think, because um, I am going to do some more player picks. I'll use my fodder in that. And see, that's just a thought process that everybody is doing right now. Opening player picks to try to pack the full birthday cards, which the team is not as good as it was in previous years, but it's all about these SBCs. So I want to look at the SBC that should be coming today, because again, we knew that Vidal was coming, right? You just don't know the stats and you don't know you know, what they're going to upgrade for skill move or weak foot or whatever. But today is supposedly going to be uh, this man, Mangala. And I can't actually find him on the footprint. There he is right here. This guy, Mangala, right here. 74 rated French center back from the La Liga. So you got Varane links. You've got Koundé links. You've got a lot of links for this card since he is French. And supposedly he is going to be the winner of the SBC today. This entire promo has had a lot of leaks, by the way. We knew the whole team before it came out. We've known all the SBCs so far. Supposedly the Dortmund SBC that is on the uh, that is on here, that's supposedly going to be a Marco Royce card. Um, that's supposedly what's coming out. A lot of German hype right now, right? Besides Vidal today with the Podolski, with the Ozil, you know, you've had uh, Balak lately, you've had the Bender Bros, a lot of German nationality linking and hype, which is kind of nice because, right, it takes us away from like French and it takes us away from like Premier League and all the stuff we usually have that is really meta and really, you know, sought after and people just put in their teams. Uh, so these German links are kind of cool, and I think that's going to continue with that Dortmund SBC. But today we could have that Mangala card, which will be interesting to see. You know, somebody like Hermoso from the current foot birthday team, obviously that is in packs. These guys are fluctuating around kind of like crazy, to be honest. Perisic with the big boom. Hermoso is 213k, but if a card like Mangala comes out today and it's a cheaper SBC, which I would imagine that this SBC would be a little bit cheaper than somebody like Vidal today. Because even if they sauce this guy up to like an 87 rated card, uh, he gets like 90 physical, high 80s defense. They give him 80 pace. You know, um, if they give him the five-star skills and the four-star weak foot, he does have the medium high work rates. He's got the high and stocky body type. So this could be a cool card, but I still think uh, it's probably going to be an under 200, under 250K SBC. And that could mean that this Hermoso card could get sold off a little, uh, which may potentially could mean a, a chance to pick him up at a very low price. But these cards continue to fluctuate around. Sane, I bought last night at a million coins and I sold him at 1.07. He's actually still up from that right now. But look at these guys move around, right? They get kind of sold off a little bit into the content drop. Then they bounce back. That happened with Icon Moments today. I was watching some Icon Moments that were low pre-content drop because people were selling them because they thought we might get an Icon SBC and you still might have some of that panic today is uh, people expecting some sort of icon moments SBC, which could come at any time because it is in the code. But I really feel like EA is focusing on these player SBCs. Um, and I think they're seeing really good player retention or, or I guess good um, 
activity and a, a just people are wanting to do these foot birthday SBC. So I'm really curious to see what happens with this team in packs though, because as we get closer to them going out of packs, maybe even closer to rewards on Thursday, uh, I'm curious to see what the supply does to these cards. And if people actually want to buy them, because I feel like, again, most of the hype is for the SBC players and the SBC packs, whereas there is less hype for these cards that are actually in packs. So, again, it's seriously giving me foot freeze vibes from where things were earlier this year. Now, I've watched a lot of icons lately. These guys are bouncing around in price, too. Uh, a little bit risky to trade with sometimes, but if you look at these cards that are in demand for the German links, like this Lom, he's got a consistent demand. You know, this Balak, I'm trying to find him in like the 1.1 range to maybe flip into one twos. A lot of consistent demand there. So just keep a watch on like the icons, icon moments with the open bids. I won an open bid last night on a Rivaldo moments card and flipped that for a sweet deal. Um, but since a lot of the focus is on the SBCs, you're seeing the out of packs market really move a lot as well. Like these cards are fluctuating like crazy. Some cards are going down a lot and some cards are going up a lot, just depending on rarity, depending on panic selling and stuff like that. Uh, you still have Goretzka is very high up here at 240,000 coins. You know, you look at what if team two, right? Uh, Richarlison down at 605. That is really, really low. But then you have a guy like Regulon up to 225. So it's like the market is a, is a mixed bag right now because there is some demand for some areas. Odegaard was 400k. He's now back to 424. Smalling 650. And Babu 339. You know, Berchiche is 179. So a really nice rise there. Um, look at the future stars as well. You've got Anthony at 330, way down low. Uh, but then of course you've got Saka still at 1.66 million coins. So the market's kind of all over the place. And if you see the cards that are up that have demand, those, wow, 140 for Depay. That's crazy cheap. 355 for Sterling. That's really down too. These cards are fluctuating a lot. So you can trade with out of pack specials on the fluctuations. Um, just try to just try to get into the ones that are more rare, I guess I would say. Um, because again, the focus right now isn't on this sort of stuff. The focus is on the SBCs and the picks and the packs and stuff like that. So watching an SBC like this Mangala possibly coming out today, you know, we had a lot of links to this Vidal that really exploded. And as these SBCs continue to be quote unquote good value, I would 100% look to get involved and I know this is a little bit risky because you never know what EA is going to do. But the, if these consistently stay good value, you're probably going to see link investments to these cards rise up in the hype and also rise up afterwards if people are doing these SBCs. So maybe you look out for some of those French links today, especially in La Liga. I'm not going to tell you to buy gold for Len Mendy because he is up already because he's out of packs. Um, but maybe some of the other French links, maybe uh, maybe Icon CDM, you know, maybe they see some of those go up a little bit or other center backs, you know, maybe a guy like, actually one thing you could see today is if this Mangala, if it is Mangala, uh, unless EA change it because they're, they're seeing all these leaks, but if it is a French center back today, I would 100% look out for center backs in other leagues that are still French, like this Laporte card. Remember when we had an SBC earlier this year, this guy was sold off like crazy, 387. You know, maybe you see undercuts on cards that are in different leagues that are the same nation or just center backs in the same position, different league. So like CDMs from the Prem today, if you saw those drop, that's a card from a different league that people are selling off. That's going to bounce back faster than like another French center back that a Mangala SBC person doing his card would be replacing their Varane and their team or, or whatever. So just keep an eye out for some of that sort of stuff. Now, what I'm doing on the market right now is trading a little bit with these fluctuations. I sold my Parasic way too early. Uh, I did flip one of these Rivaldos that I got very low and one of them was a tax loss. And then this Sané card was a nice little bit of, you know, 30,000 coins profit there. I bought this at 200K flat. I could have waited and sold it for way higher, but I sold before the SBC came out today and I really wasn't on the game so much. But we are above 4 million coins. We're going to keep grinding. I'm actually above 4.1 mil and I actually, I did Podolski and Ozil. So I'm very happy about that. By the way, this dude is incredible. My inner way back is loving this Podolski card, man. Two, two games played, six goals, one assist. Now, Oza doesn't have the contributions for me. Two games played, no goals, one assist. But he's he's great too. So um, I'm loving these guys up top. It's a really nice duo to kind of run for fun, probably until team of the season. But that's kind of like the next big thing that is inside, team of the season. So that's what I'll continue to say too, right? Even though this promo is such quote-unquote good value, 
just be careful, right? Don't be draining all your coins right now. We're going to have team of the season coming in a couple of weeks with cards even more cracked out than this. And they're going to be way cheaper because they're going to be in packs and everybody, you know what happens during team of the season, the entire market crashes. So we are not very far away from that. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing some of these SBCs um, and turning in your coins for those, just be mindful of that. Also, new objectives coming out today with the Samba Stars, the Brasilvers, because this is cool content, right? This is cool content. Dalbert left mid, and you've got the Paulo Otavio. I think it's Dalbert and, and this guy that are the most hyped, right, for your silver teams, which, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of down for EA to make some silver requirements in the weekend league, like minimum one silver player, and you're starting 11. Since they've given out so many silver stars this year, they haven't done weekend league requirements in a long time, but I think that would be something that could potentially happen. Of course, we've got the Huntelar still out here, and we have the new icon swap tokens. So one thing that this is going to be affecting the market is you're going to see a lot of people finish up their swaps and open some of these swaps packs. Now, I don't know if it's going to impact the market a ton, but you're going to have a lot more people being able to refill their clubs with fodder. I've done the 82 times 25, but if you had the first nine swaps, you could have done two of these packs. You could have done the 81 and the 82, but you would have had to wait for the 83 times 25. So right now, a lot of people are getting their last like fodder pack, one of these times 25 packs. So you're going to see a lot of those again open this week and probably some of the first, you know, people getting to the end of this opening their plus prime packs or opening their prime or moments icon packs as well so that's going to be interesting to see as we have more swap tokens out does this keep fodder at a kind of chilled rate um in this game and i'm honestly expecting ea today on tuesday to drop some other sort of non-repeatable upgrade pack like either an 83 times 10 i don't know if they'll do that again maybe a double 84 or an 84 plus player pick i feel like that sort of sbc could be coming today too on tuesday uh, along with whatever player that they do release so that's just kind of how i'm feeling about this game right now and what i'm feeling about the market i'm probably going to continue to trade with out of pack specials and with icons because there's still a lot of links with these icons right because you've got the german link so i'm really focusing in on some of these cards you know there's panic every single day before 1 p.m or 6 p.m uk uh and then there's open bids every night like this block at 990 you know if i could get that at 990 i can sell this card at about 1.1 mil and uh that'd be an awesome flip right they'd be like a 50k flip easy uh and i would be all about that right that's the kind of flips that you can you can get on these open bids and look at this right job is 155 earlier today and right now it looks like he's about 17. So you see these fluctuations like this all the time on these cards. It's not just icons either. Like this Garincha was at 1.17 earlier today, 1.16, and now he's in the 1.2 mid range. So, you know, you see a lot of these fluctuations on these cards. Out of pack specials, 100% are fluctuating uh, as well. So going through this team, going through these teams on Footbin, like some of the headliners, Holland is 550, right? Goretzka is 614. And this guy was like 650 earlier today, I believe. If you take a look at the hourly graph, I believe on Tuesday, he was 660 in the morning, went to 690, dropped down a little bit with the um, Vidal coming out, but this is still in demand. So if you see this back at 600K, and if we do have a Marco Royce SBC coming, which we'll talk about that a little bit more, uh, especially if it's a Mangala today, then we'll feel real confident about Royce coming on Wednesday. But, you know, just keep, just keep an eye on some of the stuff that is hyped that is rare, that is meta, that people are looking at right now in FIFA. So again, right now, what's going on is good value SBCs. We're not getting a ton of like tradable pack supply. I, I think they may be had dropped a um, an SBC yesterday that was a tradable pack. I'm not entirely sure. I'm checking right now on uh, Footbin. They dropped the Group 1 Daily Challenge 4 and the Arturo Vidal. So no tradable supply today, um, but... That is a very interesting one. I probably think we would get another one of those today with some tradable supply, but the big supply should be gone um, for the market. So that's just kind of how I'm feeling about it. Again, just such an SBC based promo going on right now. Everybody's about the picks, everybody's about the packs, and that's impacting the market a little bit because some cards are dropping down because there's just no hype for them, but other ones are going up based off of the links to these good value SBCs. So let me know what you guys think down below about the whole SBCs and how you feel about Foot Birthday, right? It's a very different twist this year with the SBCs being the focus 
instead of the players that are in packs. Because, of course, last year we had Mbappe, Griezmann, you know the drill. And, you know, this year it's still pretty hyped with all the good value SBCs that we are getting, in my opinion. So, of course, let me know down below what you guys think. And uh, drop a like this video if you enjoyed it. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But that's kind of what we're talking about today, this good value promo. I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below for sure. But it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.